emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with the Comms Prepper Helper. Hi Preppers. And today I actually have a cameraman and we're at an off-site location. We brought the bug out bag. So we're going to set up the bug out bag radio and put this 14 megahertz dipole antenna up into this birch tree over here using some 550 cord. And we're going to run another piece of 550 cord all the way over to that birch tree there. And we'll set up a picnic table underneath the antenna and hook the bug out bag radio. And my cameraman is also a guest operator. So we're gonna show you some CW. We're gonna do it old school today. Old school data communication. So I'm gonna use the Armstrong method and lasso that 550 cord up over that branch. And I'm using a standard water bottle here, half full with 550 cord or power cord. And we're just gonna sling that bottle up there and get one line up over there. And then behind me, I'll do it again and we'll pull that dipole antenna up. So let me pause here and I'll get the camera set up. As I get my swing synchronized here, my cameraman is going to pan the camera up and show you the branch I'm aiming for. And then he's going to Alright, so here's, here we go. This is take two. Got it. So okay guys, we got the bottle up over that limb right there on the second take. That really is the truth. And the bottle is hanging up over here. Let me zoom out and see if I can find it. There's the bottle. And then what we're going to do is repeat this process on the opposing tree and pull that dipole antenna up. Let me zoom out here. Try not to get too fancy with the camera work. As you guys know, I normally do this inside. So that's where the 550 cord went over. There's the distance to the ground, so that'll get us up off the ground a little bit. And over there is the border bottle, which can go up and down. Cameraman, pull the rope. There we go. So we'll go ahead and get the other line up. We won't videotape that. You've already seen it happen once. And then we'll set the radio up. Okay, guys, we're still working on putting the antenna up in the trees, and I'm getting ready to take the coax here. But I wanted to show you this. We threw this up last night. Here's a good example of a field expedient antenna. I use that vehicle mount and a pair of vice grips. That's actually the Leatherman Crunch tool, which is a vice grip. And I thought that was pretty neat when I saw that online, so I got it. And that's just hooked up to my military tactical whip antenna. We threw this up real quick to see what we could hear last night. But I figured I'd get a video of this before I took it down so you guys can see some things you can do to get an antenna up really quick. All right guys, we're 40 minutes into this exercise and we got the antenna up, got the station set up. I got a shelter half over there. And we're gonna see if we can pick this up in frame for you. The antenna up here, I'll try zooming in with the new fancy camera. There's the insulator. It goes behind me to the other tree. And the antenna comes down and we'll zoom out so I can find the rest of it. Let's see where we're at here. I can find the antenna. The viewfinder's not that great. Okay, there we go. We got the antenna there. So there's the coax that's coming down to the radio. And remember in the previous video, I have a terminal block there so I can actually convert this antenna into two meters. So that antenna runs out to that tree where you saw me throw the water bottle up. And we'll come back in here and the coax drops down to the back of the station here. And we're all tuned up and ready to go. Well, many of these things you've seen before. I've got the Yesu FT817ND QRP or bug out bag radio, a little MFJ antenna tuner with a 12 volt battery. And we're going to do CW today. We're going to do it old school, but we also brought the microphone. And I also brought out the Goal Zero solar kit. And as you can see there, it's charging up. I'll try to get in there so you can see that. And it's actually a good, good moment here to make this video because we've got a little bit of cloud going overhead so we're not washed out by the sun. So the Goal Zero, this is the Escape 150. I don't know if they make it anymore, but I've had it for, I got it for a birthday present, maybe two years now. And that hooks up to a 15 watt solar panel. And it charges a battery inside that unit. And on the output, 
which is pretty neat, is I get 12 volts DC, 110 volts AC, and I also have a USB port. So when we run that battery down over there, we'll go ahead and switch operations to the goal zero as this charges up. So we should be topped off and ready to go. In fact, I'll unplug the charger. We're already full. So right now it's just maintaining, but this has a full charge on it. So there's the station. This is the bug out bag radio. We're completely off the grid and we're gonna do this old school. So I'll pause here, set the tripod up and you can see the guest operator bang out some Morse code. Yep. So we'll let our guest operator give us a summary of that QSO or contact. So that was a Swedish station SM1 IRS calling CQ. We came back to him. Uh, he picked up our call sign. I'm not sure he got it on the first pass right, but it's okay because we send it later. Uh, and on first pass he sent, uh, it's Andy, his name, and he gave us a 599. It's a good signal report. And when we turned it around, we sent uh, our call sign again so we would hear it, and then uh, a name and his signal report 599 because he's coming in well here and we set our location near Moscow um, and then we flipped it around he said thanks for the QSO 73 good luck uh, kind of standard ending and we sent basically the same back to him and the two dits at the end were kind of for good luck too so to wrap it up yep so there's a good demonstration that power isn't everything uh, CW is really good at working through poor propagation conditions and interference, whether natural or man-made. And again, we're off grid here with just the battery and the radio. We're not even using a tuner right now because the antenna is actually cut for this specific frequency, so we don't need a tuner, so we have even less loss. Good quality cable and a decent antenna installation, and you can work thousands of miles uh, from Moscow to Sweden, uh, probably a thousand miles maybe. Uh, again, like with all my videos, I'll plot that out and give you the actual distances when this gets posted. But we'll go ahead and we'll work a few more stations. So now we're going to try to work a station in Germany. And we got them. Can you try to get a QTH city?
So that was a YO3BAP portable, and I think he's in Romania. He sent his uh, QTHS Bucharest. The guy he was talking to right before that was Germany. That's why we heard the German call sign in there. That's Moscow to Romania. And again, I'll do the distances on that when I put the video up. So just to summarize here, guys, this is a demonstration of how you can use CW in an emergency to talk great distances with just a little bit of power. And we're all portable here, so we have so we have no dependencies on commercial power. This is off grid. We have solar capability, low power radio, with extra batteries, and we're doing this by Morse code, and talking thousands of miles with it. And we'll go ahead and we'll take a break here, and I'll break out the HF radio email stuff because that's what I like, and then maybe do a little summary on the solar configuration that I have here. I'll bring out one of my charge controllers and show you how a charge controller with a panel can charge a battery. You are dead. Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, stroke portable. Okay, the other session portable again. Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, stroke portable, Moscow. Okay, okay, uh, Radio 3, Charlie United, uh, QRP portable, Italy Whiskey 7, Delta Kilo Sugar, 3 by 3 by 4 my name is Giel, Germany, India, Lima, with South Italy, over. A QSL Gil, the, uh, you're 5'9 here in Moscow. Name here is Hank. I spell Hotel Alpha November Kilo. Hank, QSL? Okay, Roger, Roger. Minya, Zavut, Gil, Galina, Ivan, Leonid, okay? QSL, 73, thanks for responding to my call. Uh, thank you, 73, Privyat, bye. QRZ, Italy, Whiskey 7, Delta, Kilo, Sugar, QRZ. Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, QRP Portable. Radio 3, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what's the call again? Uh, the call sign is Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, QRP Portable in Moscow. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'm in QSO with, um, with Dave in Ireland, and he's just um, just changing microphones. I don't know how long he will be, but just for, for the record, uh, I'm, I'm receiving you with the, uh, the, the back side of the quad. And your signal is 5 and 5 right now. So you're sounding good over here. Nothing wrong with it, but I need to finish with Dave first. Um, would that be okay? Would you stand by? Oh, absolutely. I appreciate you taking the moment to respond to the call. That's I, I heard him say he was taking a break. I figured I'd give it a shot. Go on to that. Yeah, no problem. I, I think I'd just like to, and it's, it's not even my frequency. What am I talking about? So you're going to you're gonna want to talk to Dave uh, once he finishes uh, with me here. Um, Echo India to Hotel Papa Bravo, Delta Golf 7 Lima Alpha Lima. Are you on frequency now? Um, so, yeah, I can hear the other station. He's not very strong, but I think he's QRP. Uh, the, the Romeo 3 station. Uh, so stand by, Reiner. I've just given a quick report. I think he was looking for a report. Uh, the, the Radio 3 station in Moscow. This is Echo India 2, Hotel Papa Bravo. Go ahead, over. Echo India 2, Hotel Papa Bravo. This is Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform, QRP Portable in Moscow. I appreciate you taking the time to respond to my call. Name here is Hank. I spell Hotel Alpha November Kilo Hank. And again, the QTH is in Moscow, and I'm running a little Yesu FT-817ND on a dipole on a picnic table. Over. Okay, I'm, I'm afraid I don't have a great, uh, a great copy on you. I'm getting bits of it. Um, the signal is quite good, but the audio is low with the low power, so um, I'm missing little bits. I didn't get your suffix. Um, first of all, can you just give me your suffix again? And I think, did you say your name is Hans, or? Uh, this is Radio 3, Charlie Uniform. Uh, that's correct. Name here is Hank. And the QTH operating location is just outside of Moscow. I'm getting him here. I can uh, pick it up if you like me to. Yeah, um, no problem, Reiner. Yeah, I, I am hearing him, but um, I'm, I'm missing the um, I'm, I'm missing bits and pieces. I didn't get the suffix, and um, I, I'm not sure if he said his name was Hans. But uh, go ahead anyway, Reiner. Over. Uh, he's Hank, uh, Hotel Alpha November Kilo, I believe from uh, the U.S. And um, and uh, his suffix is Charlie Uniform, and he's in Moscow. And he's using an 817 uh, with, a, with a vertical, I think, or whatever, some kind of antenna on a picnic table. So uh, not, not very low power, and, and uh, the antenna, of course, not at a, at a very decent height. But, uh, but I'm copying him. I'm pointing um, east now, so you wouldn't uh, hear me that loud anymore. But maybe the, uh, the other station in, in uh, Moscow will. Radio 3 Charlie Uniform, you're, you're now 5 and 7, over. 
Uh, copy the five and seven. Uh, both of your stations are five and nine here in Moscow. Yeah, the antenna is a dipole, probably up about eight meters, uh, strung between two trees. QSL? Ah, uh, yeah, Roger, okay, yeah, eight meters up and uh, strung between two trees. That makes sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's working. you got a good signal over here in, in Germany. My name is Reiner, Radio Alpha India, November Echo Radio. I'm in uh, Hamburg, or near Hamburg, between Hamburg and Denmark. I'm running a, a two element quad about 20 meters high and uh, Yaesu FT5000 with a uh, homebrew linear at about 700 watts. So, okay, I, um, I'm going to return the uh, mic to Dave and I'm also going to turn the antenna back around. So, uh, you can uh, say your, 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 your final message uh, to, um, to Dave as well. He is copying you, but not that well. Radio 3 Charlie Uniform in the group. This is Delta Golf 7 Lima Alpha Lima. Over. Delta Golf 7, Lima Alpha Lima, and Echo India 2, Hotel Papa Bravo. This is Romeo 3, Charlie Uniform. Dave and Reiner, again, thank you very much for taking a pause in your QSO to respond to my call. I do appreciate it. And best 73s from Moscow. Yeah, okay, Hank. Uh, I got you much better that time, actually. Um, you're, uh, you're about a... Uh, you, well, you were actually a five and seven there. You were five and seven there that time, Hank. Uh, before that, you were uh, about a three by five or six, but uh, that was quite good, Hank. Over. Uh, I do appreciate the five and seven. Again, you're a five nine. Uh, very, very solid here in Moscow. Nice to make the contact, and uh, take care. All the best to you from Ireland. Uh, Reiner, I'm going to have to pull the plug. Uh, I've just got the shout for my for my dinner. So, uh, Okay guys, well that's a demonstration how we can use voice communications with just 5 watts. Uh, you see the antenna configuration and this is low power. I was planning to do the HF email for you, but I learned a valuable uh, prepping lesson. When I packed up all the gear I forgot the USB cable, so having a checklist and making sure all the gear you need to operate is in your bug out bag, because when you get to the field if you don't have it, you don't have it. So today we're able to do some CW, some old school communicating, and some uh, voice communications with the bug up bag radio here, again with only 5 watts, with a portable battery and some solar power. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with my guest operator, Jack, giving you a demonstration of the bug up bag radio, running CW, and some basic voice.